July 1st means different things to different people in Prince Edward Island. For some, it's a day of reflection as the bodies of children continue to be found at former residential school sites. For others, it's a time to celebrate what Canada has done right and what it could become. The Mi'kmaq of Lenox Island marked the date with Resiliency Day, a ceremony of healing and education at the John J. Sark Memorial School. Lenox Island Chief Darlene Bernard spoke about why the Mi'kmaq and their supporters had gathered. We are also here today to recognize that in the coming months, even more lost children more innocent babies who are still waiting to be discovered will be found at the over 130 former residential school sites across the country. We are blessed with voices such as yours now being raised in support of Indigenous people in Canada. And it is our hope that this support will continue to grow and become louder as we move forward towards repatriation of our lost family members. Jamie Thomas hosted the event, which featured prayers, smudging, traditional songs and dance, a performance by Tara McLean, and a ceremony involving children's shoes. The day ended with a ceremonial feast inside the school. Chief Bernard also talked about what allies can do for reconciliation. Or learn how to say one of the many place names displayed on signage across the province. Lobby for more Mi'kmaq words throughout this beautiful province. Every public building should have Mi'kmaq language, inside and out. Reporting from Lenox Island for the Saltwire Network, I'm Logan McLean.